it's fairly common for a company to have multiple Facebook accounts. I've also seen the scenario of one brand or company is running ads on behalf of another brand or company. So whichever scenario it is, most likely those companies want to be able to share their Facebook pixel with the other accounts. Well, this video is going to show you how you can do that. And I'm not going to talk about just adding a new user to an account. That's fairly easy to do. This is actually going to show you how you can share a pixel in between two different Facebook accounts. So let's dive in. I am already in the Facebook manager business settings. And if you're not familiar with the newer interface, I'll show you where it is. In the upper left hand corner, just click on the sandwich menu. And then you want to choose the little gear icon and it says right there business settings. Right now on the left hand side, you can see we are on the add accounts portion, but to look for how to share the pixel, we want to go down to data sources and that is where we can find pixels. Now, as I said in the intro, we're not going to talk about how to add individual people. That's really easy just to click one of these two buttons and already select people who are managing the account. If you're looking for how to share the Facebook pixel with another business manager account, you need to click on assign partners and next you will need to enter the business ID. So normally when we're making videos, we don't show the URL portion of our browser, but in this case we have to because the easiest way to find your business ID is going to be within the business manager URL. I'm going to head over to another screen and this page has a totally different Facebook account opened. But if we look in the URL section and I have to blur out a portion of it, Facebook calls out the business ID in the URL. So if you have access to both of the business manager accounts, it's easy just to go into the other account and pull the ID. If you don't have access to the account that you're trying to share your Facebook pixel with, then you'll have to reach out to somebody who does have access to that account and ask them to give you that business ID. And all you have to do is instruct them to just look in the URL. So we're going to copy this right now and then head back over into the original account and then paste in your partner ID. Before we can go on any further, you're going to have to select the access you want this business partner to have in your account. Your first option is standard access and Facebook describes this access as giving that partner the ability to view and analyze pixel performance in Facebook analytics and they can create conversion ads. The second option is going to be to give that business partner full admin access. Giving admin access to your business partner allows them to create, edit, and view pixels. They cannot remove any pixels, but they can add and make any changes to any current ones within your account. If you're creating any events from your pixels. Let's say your account has specific Facebook event tracking set up, which we do have a video for. They have the ability to remove those completely. So you got to be careful there. They can also create audiences and ads, and they have the ability to choose the users for the account as well. So it's a pretty clear difference between standard and admin access. So make sure you really know who you're giving access to before you make this selection. I'm going to keep it as admin for now so we can go on to the next part. Next, Facebook will ask how you will be working with the business partner you have selected. I know a lot of the viewers watching our videos work at agencies. So I'm going to select that option, but Facebook has a few other default options and you can select other and pretty much give whatever reason you want. This information is really more for Facebook's benefit and not really for the advertiser. So don't spend too much time worrying about this one. As we click next, you can then review the terms of sharing the data source, confirm that you have the proper permissions to use and share this data, and making sure that also you and your new business partner are complying with the Facebook's business terms of services, as well as any applicable law. I'm sure you're all trustworthy, so we can click accept. And then we'll get a notification that a request to share this pixel was sent to the business partner. So let's hop back into the other account. We can see up above the bell has a little notification and if we click down on it and then we click on the business notification, we see that a partnership request was sent. So your business partner can then click on that request. We're automatically taken to the pixel section under data sources. Right over in the second column, we see that the request is pending. It's good to know where this exists in case you have to tell your business partner where to go in and manually have to give them instructions. And as we see right here to accept the request, the business partner will have to first agree to the Facebook business asset sharing terms and agreements. So let's click continue. Continue. And there we see the same terms for sharing a data source. So I'm just going to click accept and the request has been accepted. So I'm going to click done here. I'm going to refresh the same page and now I have full access to this account's pixel. If I click add people, remember I am in the business partner account and I just got added to this advertiser's account. And just like the advertiser had the ability to set permissions to the business partner to have either standard or admin access, the business partner can do that when adding people from their own organization into this particular pixel. And the options are going to be the same. It's standard or admin access. I'll just assign myself. 
Now, one person from this business partner, and we can see my name right there, has been added to this particular advertiser accounts pixel. If we go back into the actual advertiser account, the original one that sent the request, I'm gonna click done, refresh this page again. So now I'm back in the original advertiser's account, the one that sent the request to the partner. If we refresh the page, it looks like nobody has access. But if we look in this section right here, the people tab is highlighted. So this is gonna be people within my organization within this advertiser account. You need to go one over and click on the partners tab and that is where all of your partners are gonna show up. And that's really all it takes to share the Facebook pixel within Business Manager. The biggest issue that we always run in when trying to share the Facebook pixel is making sure everyone in both accounts has the proper access. Just due to my experience, I've always been on the agency side, so I've always been on the business partner side. And the biggest setback I usually run into is the owner of the original Facebook pixel works at a particular company and they never had access to that pixel itself. They weren't the ones who created it or they were never given the proper permissions to go in and accept that. So before you look at sharing your pixel with a potential business partner, make sure you're the owner of it or you have the proper access to share it. Once that step is solved, following all the remaining steps that we went through in the video is gonna be a breeze. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week. So if you wanna see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.